Yeah, hi guys. I'm going to give you a little video on the on the next level of the um, of the board. Now there's a lot of information out there about flashing, getting the flashing tools, and getting all the um, the boards functioning with the Wi-Fi and the network, and a lot of us were <laughs> a lot of us wrong wrong information but you know there's a missing link and that's you know what to do next putting them you know for example putting the the main script file on the board which will then automatically boot uh, as the board boots so I uh, decided to make this video and maybe it'll help people you know go to the next level and uh, do some great things with their boards so let's see here first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my board and here's my board I've got it uh, hooked up with a little breadboard and uh, an LED light what it's going to do, I'm going to make a, a main file, a script file, and I'm intentionally putting a, um, an open-ended loop in the file. You know, I'm trying to brick the board. But I've also created a way to unbrick a bricked board. So with the main, I intentionally created a loop to brick the board in the loop. And then I've created a way to actually break the loop and unbrick the board. So let's see what I've got here. We've got basically just an LED and stop button, a click button, connected to the um, to the board. And what I've done is I'll. I'll put, I'll use uh, some of the tools, I'll use Ampy, and I'll put the main onto the main scripting file onto the board. It'll create a, a loop that doesn't um, exit, basically breaking the board. I'll end up with the, the lights okay. staying on, the blue LED and the red LED will remain on, which indicates that I've got a bricked board, and then we'll unbrick the board. So let's give that a shot. What do we have here? I've got um, all the tools that have been discussed on the internet on interfacing with the board. And Ampy is the tool I'm going to use today. Ampy and the, um, the ESP Explorer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to put a file. Let's see if I can find that file. Uh, let's see if I can get back a couple levels. Okay, I'm going to put this main file, which is I'll open it with a the notepad and it's just a loop it's going to um, import the machine and the time it's going to use a couple pins it's going this is the pin 2 is the blue LED that's on the board uh, pin 16 is the red LED LED that's on the board and then I'm sending out a signal on pin 4 that will light the yellow LED on the little breadboard. So I've got a loop. It loops sometimes, flashing the lights on and off. And then the loop doesn't exit. It gets stuck and therefore I've got a brick board. So let's put this file on the board. We'll go to the command prompt.
and then we'll use Ampy. First of all, I'll list what's on the board, and and then um, once we see that it's only a boot file, then I'll also add the main file to it. And the command for listing what's on the board is the ls. Now the first, there we go, okay, there's the boot file. So that's the only file that's on the board. So what we'll do now is we'll use ampy and up, put the main file, the main, pool, the main Python uh, script file onto the board as well. Put uh, main dot py. Now, to use ampy to put the file up on the board, ampy has to be in the same folder as the file that we're putting on the board. The main is uh, going to be put on the board, and ampy has to be in the same folder, and uh, I've got the folder named folder that has the main. So there we go. That'll put the main up on the board. And then I'll end up with, once I've um, reset the board, I'll end up with a brick board with um, the lights that remain on. Let's try that again. Let's put uh, the main up. Okay. The main is on the board. Let's double check that. We'll use the list command and I'll just use the same list command I used earlier I did not see the boot I don't see the main let's try that again let's put the main put the main on oh there it is com6 Got to tell it where I've got to use the right uh, serial connection. That'll do it. Now let's list what's on the board on the on the board. And there it is, the boot file and the main file. So those are both scripting files. The boot file is file that uh, occur, uh, runs first, and then the main file will run. So now let's. Break the board. Let's turn on the webcam. Okay, there's the board. Nothing's happened yet because the board has not been reset. The file is on the board, but it hasn't been. It hasn't been. Um, it hasn't been executed yet. So we'll push the reset button, and that will brick the board. We've got the flashing lights, and the lights will stop flashing and remain on, which means the board is bricked. The board is bricked. I can prove that by unplugging it. It'll reset the main, and it's going to end up getting bricked again. There it's bricked. I can reset. It'll be bricked again. There's really no way to get out of this. It, the board has been bricked. And let's just try a tool or two, and then uh, we'll get out of the brick. So let's go and put the um, webcam away, and we will go and use this will basically demonstrate that the board is thoroughly bricked. The Explorer um, is a good tool for interacting with the board. We'll open the serial port um, and there, now we're open. There is no there's no um, RESPL prompt here. We have no way to interface with the board. There's no command prompt that allows us to do anything. 
Uh, we'll look at the board again with the webcam and there's nothing going on it's bricked we'll go back to try to reset this see if we can get that command prompt and there's nothing there's no command prompt whatsoever it's that is a brick board nothing's going to happen from uh, the ESP ESP plorer so we'll just close it and then we'll unbrick the board so what I've done is I put um, I'll go back to the main file and show what we've done to be able to break out of the um, of the loop this um, pin 4 is the yellow light that's on the little uh, breadboard that's attached to the ESP board and you'll see that the yellow light has remained on continuously through this whole bricking event and it will remain on indefinitely as this board is bricked because there's uh, the code doesn't have you know the code exited with the light being on and the uh, the loop here remains in effect as long as there's power going to that pin 4 as long as that power is falling as long as that circuit is is, uh, is not broken this loop is stuck so what I've done here is we will um, break that circuit. We'll ground out pin four, creating uh, a way for this loop to exit. So let's get out of the um, let's get out of the screen here. Get out of the screen here. Go back to the webcam. Okay, so just uh, we'll reset it again just to show that we're still bricked and that there's no way to exit, you know, to really access this board now that it's been bricked. But once we ground pin 4, and I've got a push button here, I'm going to ground out and break that loop with the ground pin 4 and turn off the light. Once that light turns off, the loop has been broken. The loop is broken, lights turn off on the board. The board is no longer bricked. So that's cool. Now we can interface and interact with the board uh, and remove a file and remove the main if we need to. So let's uh, close the webcam. We'll go back to the ESP lore. ESP lore. And uh, let's see what we can do now that the board is almost unbricked. It'll brick one more time um, when I start this. Let's see if I can make this into a small file here. Okay, good. So let's open that board okay we got open it's resetting the plates are flashing it's going to get bricked again and then I'll unbrick it with the button ground out um, pin 4 and now we've got us a command prompt that allows us to do what we need to do on the board. We'll just do a little demonstration and print. Not bricked. And Python is working like the Python is working. Uh, now I can 
have a way to unbrick a board. I can remove that file that's causing the problem. So let's just close this. We'll go back to the uh, command prompt. We will probably end up getting one more the board bricked once more before I can remove the brick. Let's see if I can um, do it. Um, let's see if it's going to brick. I think it'll brick one more time and then I'll unbrick it or and then I'll remove the file. Let's see what's on that board. Yeah, it bricked again. I will short and I'll ground out pin 4, unbrick it. And now we'll remove that file that's causing the trouble. So we'll go to ampi, port com6, rm is the remove command. Uh, then we have to put in the name of the file, the main.py. That will remove the problem. It's gone. Okay, let's um, take a look at the list. The, the files are on the board. And that's just the boot. So, there we go. It's um, now that we're able to, um, to start doing things with the board, it's a real good idea to give yourself an out for those uh, loops that brick your board. It's really simple to put a, uh, a little file um, in the main to allow you to short a pin and therefore break any loop that you might have written into that code. Good luck with everything. If you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Thanks.